Hi there and welcome to part 2 of the um, demonstration where I'm showing you how we can analyze data in NinjaTrader. Uh, this is entirely free, I'd just like to reiterate. And you don't need QuantSports to be able to do this, you only need your own Betfair data which you can either get yourself or buy from a third party vendor um, such as Fraxoft. Ok so in, in the last um, video I showed you the horse we have here and the data I have for Anquetta. In this video I'm going to show you how we import that into NinjaTrader. So the first thing we need to do is create an instrument in NinjaTrader with the same name, Anquetta. To do that, we just click on the tools, we then click on Instrument Manager. We go down to where it says New here, adds a new instrument, and we type in the name of the horse, which was Anquetta. And under the description, I'm just going to type in um, Anquetta as well. On the exchange, I'll just take the default. Um, and then it will also put, it will want a symbol map, so I'll just click external and then type in one. And you can see here we have all the data um, available, so I'll click OK. And we'll scroll down and you can see the horse there and Quetta. Now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to my Quant Sports instrument list. And what this means is we can basically backtest a whole load of instruments um, in a single click. So I'm going to click on Quantsports and you can see here a few that I've done earlier and then when when Anquetta is selected click the left pointing arrow and and Anquetta gets mapped in, sorry I accidentally mapped 6A um, if we click OK now you can see that instrument has been created in that list um, and now to import the data we simply go tools historical data and then we click import I'll find Anquetta with my trading um, Betfair data NinjaTrader Anquetta open do we wish to generate um, minute bar data may as well and then you'll see it says historical data imported, success imported successfully and that's all that it needs to do and we can check that that's gone incorrectly if we just click file new we open up a chart select from the quant sports list and quetta now it's important to remember here that this data is from the let me just double check it's from the 13th of may and today is the 31st of may so i'm going to change this and i'm going to go from the um 13th of may of the 14th of may back to the 13th of may um and I'm going to choose a tick chart just to see if the data is there. Click OK. And you can see here it automatically goes to where we have the data. Now this race went off at, or well the, the schedule time was 10 minutes past 8. You can see it went slightly over from the off time here. And you'll be able to see all our data here is mapped. Now in this tick format it doesn't actually mean a lot. Um, but we can quickly change that to seconds. And so for example I'll show you a 10 second chart and you can see all the data that is available here and if we click indicators select volumes which is here apply you can then see the available data which we have now unfortunately um, one of the, th the things with NinjaTrader which is not a problem on Quant Sports this behalf um, is that if there's a volume of zero matched over a certain interval it automatically replaces that with a hundred um, now in live trading this isn't so much of an issue um, but in terms of past data in the first 20 minutes for example um, these volumes may not be in the first uh, 5 minutes or 10 minutes of the 20 minute time so for example from here from the uh, 8 o'clock backwards um, the, de the volumes data might not be particularly accurate because there will obviously be some intervals um, especially because this is on such a high frequency refresh um, where there isn't any money match. Now NinjaTrader 7, I've heard they're looking to correct that and so hopefully soon enough um, we will get a uh, corrected version of that so we have the true volumes. As I said at the moment that's not something that I can do anything about. And You can see here that the chart is available and mapped on the 10 second time frame and we can add indicators just to see what would have happened. So for example um, if I wanted to use some of the more popular indicators here, so I'll use High Kanashi Smooth. Um, um, doo -doo -doo, what else? 
I can use Parabolic SAR. Um, yeah, that'll do for the moment. I'll just click Apply, don't want to get it too complicated. And you can just see an example chart how this would have happened if I was trading it live. Um, and you know what the outcome might have been. Um, and it just really enables you to get a better look and optimize your trading strategies in doing this. Um, in the next part of the video, I'll show you how we can look at strategies. Um, that is the automated strategies and how we can optimize them for strict buy and sell signals. Thank you for watching.